Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to use WooCommerce Live Checkout Field Capture Pro plugin to save and recover abandoned cards. So once you've got the plugin, go ahead and activate it. After that, you're going to see a message about entering your license key. Just follow this link. Here you can see the license field. Enter the one you've got. If everything is fine, you'll see the red X turn into a beautiful green check. Here you can also alter the email address that receives notifications on abandoned cards as well as abandoned card notification frequency. By default it is set to send out notifications every hour, but you can change that or even disable them. I'm going to leave it to every hour. And this concludes our first part. From now on, all your abandoned cards are going to be available here. Now let's move on to the second part. In this part, we will set up our MailChimp account so that we can start delivering automated abandoned car recovery emails. So, the first thing to do is to create a MailChimp account. Let's go ahead and do it. And if you already have an account, skip this step. Do not worry about the pricing now. If your shop is medium-sized, you're going to be perfectly fine with the free account. With this one, you're going to be able to send out 12,000 emails each month. Once you have set up the account, log into it and go to the list section. Then choose to create a new list. Here simply enter your list details and hit save. So what have we done so far? We have our MailChimp account, we have our list, now we have to connect it all to our shop. Go to the account section, choose extras and API keys. Down below simply choose to create a new key. And as easy as that, you're going to see a key here. The good practice says to label your API keys, and I'm going to name my abandoned cards. Copy your API key, go back to the Checkout Field Capture Pro plugin and switch to the MailChimp tab. Here just simply paste your API key and hit save. If everything's fine, you should see this activated sign. Now we must choose a list that is going to be used to save and send abandoned card recovery emails. Select the list and hit the Save button. If all is great, you will see a green connected mark near the list field and a Force Sync button will appear below. And this concludes our second part. We have connected our abandoned carts with MailChimp. Now let's move on to the third and last part. So the last thing remaining is to create an abandoned cart recovery automation workflow on MailChimp. Let's see how to do that. Open up your MailChimp account then choose Campaigns, Create New Campaign. On this screen I would suggest you to use the search bar and type Recover, since that will be way faster. Now choose the option to recover abandoned cards. At this stage you can choose between either a single recovery email or multiple email series. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to set up a single email. Here choose your store that you want to connect it to and press Begin. Here you have to fill in additional information. First you must choose a list that will be used to deliver your recovery emails and when the email should be sent out. If this is the first email, basing on multiple studies, I would suggest you to send them out in one hour. Next you must enter from name and your email address that will be used for recovery emails. After that, enter your subject line. You will notice that you can also use emojis here. And now guys, the fun part is where you get to design your email. Don't be afraid if you're not a designer. MailChimp allows us to choose from a couple of pre-designed templates, or you can make your own here. I will choose this one. Here we can start to customize our design. I'm not gonna get into a lot of details here, I will just change my header image like this, and make some small changes to the information at the bottom right here. I will leave the rest in touch and click save and continue. And that's it guys, from now on, all your abandoned carts are going to be emailed back to the people who left them. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Hey!